Hi, this is Gary with another tasteful episode of MacMost Now. Did you know that your Mac comes complete with a web server? Built right into the OS is the Apache web server. All you need to do is turn it on and then you can use it to do things like test out web pages. You can even enable PHP. Let me show you how. So there are a lot of different web servers out there but Apache is one of the most popular. It's the one usually used with a Linux machine. Now Apache is running in Mac OS X and all you need to do is turn it on. Once you turn it on you can access your local website, the one that's running on your computer, by just going to localhost. Localhost like that. No .com, nothing else. Just hit return. Now you'll see that in this machine it's not enabled. So let's enable it. Go to System Preferences and under the Sharing tab, which we see right here, we want to enable web sharing. We turn that on. It takes a second. And it will actually give you a link to the local IP address of your machine. But we can again just go ahead and use localhost. Now we can go and see that the Apache web server is going. Now every account has its own website. So you want to use a tilde which is usually found using a shift all the way at the upper left hand corner of your keyboard. And type in the username for the account you want to access. And you'll see a web page that looks like this in Leopard. Just basically a placeholder. Now where exactly is this website? Well if we go ahead and open a finder window we can go in and see that it's on your in your uh, documents folder. So we go here's MacMost and not sorry not your documents folder but your sites folder. You can see it with all the other things there in your home directory. Go into sites and there is the index.html that actually is this page right here. So what we want to do is we want to customize this to be our own page. So one of the ways we could do that is to basically create our own index.html which is automatically loaded as the home page. So we're going to go ahead into text edit and we're going to create a new text document and just type something simple. Not exactly valid HTML but it will do for a quick test. And we're going to save it in here. And we're going to save it as say test.html. And we're going to go ahead and say yes use the 8.html extension. We're just using text edit for this. Um, and then we go ahead and instead of index.html we actually go to test.html here and there is the web page you just created. Now to take us to the next level we're going to go ahead and get PHP working. PHP is a programming language used to build lots of websites. If you're a PHP programmer it's very useful to have PHP running in the Apache web server on your Mac so you can actually build PHP pages right there on your Mac before uploading to a website. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create another document using text edit. So we'll go ahead and uh, create something that uses PHP. So we'll do a simple little command that will tell us whether or not PHP is running. I'll just add 5 plus 1. I'm going to call this test.php. Now when we go to the web browser and look at this page we actually see the code. It treats it like a text document not like a PHP document. We need to enable PHP for it to treat it like a PHP document. The way we're going to do it is pretty simple. We're going to open the terminal window. Now once we're in the terminal window we're going to go ahead and we're going to edit a file that's the Apache configuration file. So we're going to use sudo sudo which will give us uh, full access to this file. And we're going to use a text editor. You can use VI or Pico. Pico is pretty easy because it works just like a text editor uh, in the Mac interface. We want to go to slash private slash etc slash Apache 2 slash httpd dot conf. And this will then prompt us for the password since we are using the sudo command. So we enter in our password and now we have access to this document. So we're going to do a control, not command, but control W and search for PHP. And we'll quickly take us to the line here where the PHP module is loaded or in this case the line is commented out. We'll remove the pound or number sign at the beginning of that line so to uncomment it. And then we'll go ahead and exit answering yes to save modified buffer and hitting return to save it as the same file name. Great. Now we've modified it. Now we still don't have PHP running because we need to restart Apache. We do that by simply going back to the file sharing uh, window and turning off web sharing and then turning it back on. The quickest, easiest way to restart Apache. 
Now when we run, we get 6. It's actually executing that echo command with the 5 plus 1 in it. So we're actually running PHP now. So that's a great way to be able to test web pages on your Mac without having to upload to a web server. If you're a PHP programmer and you use a Mac, this is a must. And the next step you probably want to do is to get MySQL running. Just do a Google search for Install MySQL Mac and you'll come up with one of dozens of different tutorials, all with slightly different instructions on how to do it. They probably all work. But you're going to have to go to the MySQL.org website and download the Leopard installer and then adjust some settings. But once you get PHP and MySQL working, you have a full web development environment that you can use for a variety of different things and testing out your websites. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig at MacMost Now.